So commands in Minecraft are cool, right? In terms of being able to get things done, they can definitely help out a ton. Filling in large areas with certain blocks, spawning in specific mobs, and then just being able to do crazy things like making a working Game Boy game are all possible through Minecraft commands. But what if you don't need all of that? What if rather than working on a crazy build project where its massive features are the main focal point, what if you want to get down to the nitty gritty and mess with the smaller stuff? That's where one of Minecraft's most useful tools ever comes in. Meet the debug stick. In this video, we're going to be talking about how this new Minecraft 1.13 tool can be used, talk about the various things that it can do, and even talk about why you should consider giving this awesome item a chance. So without further ado, let's get right into it. If you guys want to discuss this video, or any other video that I make in general on my public Ant Venom Discord server, then definitely be sure to check out the link in the description down below, or check out the link on screen. So what is the debug stick? Simply put, the debug stick was a tool specifically created for the developers of Minecraft. This tool was created so that the game's developers could interact with various blocks in the game and change their block states in a much more manageable way rather than testing it regularly through commands or through some other more primitive means. In Snapshot 17W47A, the item made its way into the game for the general public and players quickly took note, creating some extremely interesting concepts that 90% of the time had no real function other than just looking cool. So let's talk about what it can do. Have you ever felt limited whenever you've wanted to make something in Minecraft? Have you ever looked at the massive amount of furnaces in your build and thought about how they'd look better lit up, but you didn't want to keep refueling them? Or maybe you've wanted floating ladders. Well, guess what? With the debug stick, you can do just that. And honestly, it's crazy simple. Way simpler than it would be to do with commands. By right-clicking on specific items, you can alter the various block states that each item has. For items like furnaces, you can either make them lit or unlit or rotate their direction. For items like ladders, you can change their direction to where they don't attach to any blocks and they freely float in the air. Or you can even make them waterlogged. Needless to say, the ideas available with this tool for building on a small scale suddenly become way more apparent. Do you hate trying to properly rotate glazed terracotta blocks? By right-clicking with the debug stick, it's as simple as, well, right-clicking. But let's not stop there. What about furniture? Using stairs for a chair is yesterday's news. Grab a bed from the creative menu, place it down where you want it to sit, right click the bed and choose to either change the foot of the bed or the head of the bed. Pretty quickly, you'll realize that you can make some pretty snazzy looking benches. Blocks like fences can even be altered so that they'll be pointing out in all loads of different directions or even none at all when they're sitting next to blocks. But what about redstone, I hear you asking? Well, guess what? It even makes that cool too. Items like pressure plates and buttons can be left activated forever just by simply using the debug stick on them. On top of that, items like note blocks and rails have so many different toggleable options, and as well as note blocks go, the debug stick allows you to change the sound of the instruments and even the notes that the item plays without the use of sound altering blocks. Rails can be activated and also have their directions changed. Heck, getting rails to sit in specific ways is still a pain to do regularly when right beside one another, but the debug stick simplifies that completely. And of course, where there's great things like this, you've also got people that do stupid stuff like this. There's zero reason to make these single chests turn into double chests and glitch into each other's spaces. They don't give you any more storage, it doesn't do anything but look weird, but people do it anyways. But unfortunately, for as fun as this item is, Mojang has no plans on supporting it from here on out. Simply put, the debug stick has a lot of potential to create some really game-breaking things. Because the item was never intended to be touched by players, developers of Mojang have officially gone out and said, any weird state that you create with the debug stick that you can't naturally make alongside any bugs that come with it will be shot down as won't fix on the bug tracker. The debug stick is exactly what it sounds like. It's meant to help Mojang identify and help with the process of removing errors from the game with new blocks that they implement. 
not help you build weird structures. While I don't think Mojang will remove the debug stick from Minecraft entirely, it definitely won't be supported from here on out. Many games have created items specifically for their developers that players were never intended to use. An example being RuneScape's Rotten Potato, which was filled with features for their moderators to use for debugging purposes and even random fun moments. In short, the public was never meant to use this tool. It was meant to only be a tool of Mojang's and not the community's. But while the community has access to it, definitely use it. This tool helps players and builders go absolutely crazy and stops letting the game limit them on a smaller scale. Having a physical tool to be able to utilize and change minor features helps a lot in the long run. In many ways, this item is the world edit of micro edits. Being able to alter items like a redstone lamp without actually having to jump through the stereotypical hoops to get something to come out the way that you want it is extremely useful. It makes building a lot easier, a lot more intuitive, and ultimately is a wonderful tool to get accustomed to. Hopefully, Mojang decides to keep it around. If you guys feel like discussing this video, or any other video that I release, definitely be sure to check out my public AntVenom Discord server. Whenever a new video is released, I'm in the hashtag AntVenom text channel to discuss it, or anything else. So what do you think of the debug stick? Have you ever used it before? And if not, do you think you're going to check it out now? Let me know in the comments section down below. But other than that, that just about does it for me for now. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like on it, because it would really help out myself and Michael McChill, who co-wrote and edited this video, the channel, and the video quite a lot. But anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Antvenom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.